Welcome to this lesson on similar triangle measures. In this video, I'll be going over similar triangle measures notes and triangle proportionality theorem notes. All right, so remember if two triangles are similar, then their corresponding sides are proportional. And also remember, corresponding angles are equal. You may want to make a little note. Okay, so in the first example, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, and we want to solve for the missing side. And there's a note that triangles may not be drawn to scale, so they may not look similar, but we know they are based on this similarity statement. Okay, so we want to set up a proportion because the sides are proportional and that will help us solve for the missing side. So I'm going to match 8 with X because if I look at my similarity statement, A, B, and D, E are corresponding. So 8 over X and I'm making a proportion, which is just a ratio equal to a ratio and 9 over 27. All right, then to solve for x, I can cross multiply. So 27 times 8, that's 216. x times 9 is 9x. And then I can divide both sides by 9. So that gives me x equals 24. All right, let's try another example. So we know the triangles are similar and we wanna solve for A and B. Well, angles are very easy because corresponding angles are equal, so this will be 37 degrees. It corresponds here. But for sides, we need to set up a proportion. So I'm gonna match A, which is RS, with six, x, y, and eight with 12. And notice, I started with A in the numerator here, so I wanna go back and start with this triangle again in the numerator here. If you don't and you switch that, the proportion will be set up incorrectly. All right, so I wanna cross multiply. So 12 times A is 12A, 6 times 8 is 48, and then divide both sides by 12, so A equals 4. Alright, let's try one last example. Triangle JKL was dilated by a factor of 2 thirds to form a triangle JKL prime. Find X and Y. And there's a note, dilations form similar triangles, so even though it doesn't tell us these triangles are similar. Because we know they have been dilated, we know they have created similar figures. So let's go ahead and find the angle first. Remember, angles are the same, so those are easy. So Y is 43 degrees. Next, let's set up a proportion. So don't worry about the two thirds. I would stick with the proportion so you don't accidentally multiply or divide by the wrong number especially when it's a fraction, it may get a little confusing. Um, I'll talk about how to use that scale factor once we get the answer. So I'm going to match 18 with 12 and 13.5 with X. And I'm gonna cross multiply here. So 18 times X is 18 X. 12 times 13.5 is 162. And then I can divide both sides by 18 x equals 9. Now I could have taken the scale factor 2 thirds and I could have multiplied 13.5 by the scale factor. That's another way to do it and you still get the same answer. It's just working with fractions it might be a little confusing sometimes so either way you want to do it you'll still get 9. Okay now you can pause the video and complete similar triangle measures practice and then you can restart the video and we will go over the triangle proportionality theorem. 
Okay, once you have checked that practice with your teacher, let's go ahead and move on to triangle proportionality theorem. So if a line is parallel to one side of a triangle, it divides the sides into proportional pieces. If you're given the parallel sides, you want to draw the triangles separately. So I'll show you what that means when we get to the second example. All right, so in the first example, we aren't given the lengths of the parallel sides. So we don't necessarily have to draw the triangle separately. We can just match the proportional pieces. And there's a few ways that you can set up the proportion and get the same answer. I'll show you a couple. So I could match x with 7, so x over 7, and then 10 over 8. So the pieces are proportional. Another way I could set it up is x over 10. You just want to match the second ratio to the first ratio. So because I went from the bottom to the top here, I want to go from this to this 7 over 8. I wouldn't want to go x, 10, 8, 7. I want to match it. Okay, so we can cross multiply here. So 8x equals 70. Divide by 8. So x equals 8.75. All right, let's try another example. So in this one, we are given the parallel sides here. And I know they're parallel because they have the parallel marking. So when you are given the lengths of the parallel sides, it's going to help if you draw the triangles separately. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you the two triangles that are actually in this problem. So there's the little triangle, the baby triangle. And then there's actually this whole triangle here. So we're still talking about similar triangles. There's two triangles in the picture. And I would draw them close to what they actually look like. It's going to help you. Okay, so, oops, the bottom here is 12.5. But this whole side length over here is actually broken into two pieces. So to find the length of the whole side, I need to add 8 and 5 to get 13. Once you have them drawn separately, it's pretty easy to see how to set up the proportion. So it doesn't matter if you start with x or 5. I'm going to start with x, and that would match with 12.5, and then 5 over 13. And then I'm going to cross multiply here. 62.5, then divide by 13 on both sides. So that gives me, I'm going to round to the tenths place, 4.8. All right. In the last example, again, we are given the lengths of the parallel sides, so I need to draw the triangle separately. So I want you to pause the video now and see if you can draw the two triangles. Okay, so I'm going to draw the little triangle first, which is here. And again, I'm going to try to draw it like it actually looks in the picture. So 14 and X. And then I have the whole triangle. So this would be 16. This whole length over here would be 17. All right, so I can set up my proportion. Let's see, I can do X over 16 equals 14 over 17. So that would be 17x equals 224, and then divide by 17, divide by 17, and you get, I'm going to round to the tenths place, so 13.2. Okay, go ahead and stop the video now, and you can complete triangle proportionality theorem practice and practice two, and then check it with your teacher.